artist Matty Grunberg, who drew inspiration for this project from the Jerusalem Botanical Garden on Mount Scopus, sets the scene. Jerusalem, built on a ridge of hills, lies on a watershed line. Rain falls mainly on the northern and western slopes, leaving desert conditions to east and south. Furthermore, its height and geography cause annual extremes of scorching heat or freezing cold. In Mount Scopus is a little botanical garden. When I visit that botanical garden, what occurred to me that plants that they are arriving from the Dead Sea are very spiky, very sharp, very aggressive. The local plants are flowery, fat leaves, but they're climbers. So on this 100 square meter in Mount Scopus, enormous uh, conflict between two groups of plants. The sun's eye tulip grows in a gentle manner, while the holy milk thistle threatens with fierce thorns. Each has found a way to adapt. Despite their differences, they have existed here side by side, generation after generation. Wild flowering plants are commonplace in and around Jerusalem, so common they are hardly noticed. Yet to my eye they shine as a metaphor, illuminating a kind of struggle for survival that I see everywhere in Eretz Israel. Jerusalem's hills and valleys are home to an extraordinary number of very different kinds of wild flora. Over a millennia they have arrived here from the continent of Africa, deserts of Arabia, steeps of Central and Minor Asia, coasts and islands of the Mediterranean and Southern Europe. Plants that thrive in arid, stony soil and others that require moist, rich loam have both taken root in this place of extreme climate intensely hot, dry, long summer days, a short wet season and harsh winter frosts. In making this full portfolio of prints, I approach two other creative people. One of them was Dr. Michael Avishai, who helped me with selecting the wild flora of Jerusalem. I met Amos Oz I decided to use extract from the tale of love and darkness. Only in my thoughts could I sometimes still visit St. George Street, where it continued to the northeast to stare wide-eyed in astonishment at the other Jerusalem. A city of old cypress trees that were black rather than green in color. Neighborhoods bounded in stone, bared windows, cornices and somber walls. With its dark labyrinth of hostile and forbidden alleys, a secretive and malign city, pregnant with disaster, Somber shapes seemed to hover. In the shadow of these stone walls, all manner of dark-robed pilgrims or priests and veiled women draped in black 